So, you walk into an elevator and naturally you turn and face the door, right? It's just what we do without even thinking. Here on Would You Fall For That, we decided we had to pay homage to Candid Cameron. How this man tries to maintain his individuality. So right now we are reenacting their famous test of conformity. The elevator experiment. So we found a nice elevator at the Juilliard School and gathered our Would You Fall For That stuff. If we turned to face the back of the elevator, would others follow? All right, in the blue T-shirt, that is Nadia. She is an innocent passerby. Has nothing to do with this. Everybody else in that elevator, they all work for Wait. Would You Fall For That. They are all in on the experiment. They are all purposefully facing the wrong way. Nadia is facing the front. You can just see the back of her head wearing the blue T-shirt. That's Nadia. She is facing the front of the elevator like a normal human being. Everybody else is facing the back. We're playing this to you in real time, no editing, as it actually happened. OK, floor two. Rebecca gets off. Emily gets on. She also works for us. We're swapping people in and out to reinforce the behavior. Emily's acting like it's the most normal. Oh, Nadia's turned. Nadia, it... OK, her bag is slipping off her shoulder. She's nervously playing with it. Yeah. Nadia's now halfway round. Will she go any further? Emily gets off, Mike gets on. Again, Mike works for the show. Presses his button, faces the back like it's the most normal thing in the world, like he does it every day. Nadia is really feeling the pressure right now. I'm not going to see anyone else. Isn't he on Scott's making some small talk. He was on Celebrity Rehab, I think. Oh. Yeah. She's looking towards the back of the elevator because everybody else is. Floor four. I love the guy. Fourth floor, Mike gets off. Lauren He's gets on. Job. Lauren She's also sorry. works for us. Yeah. She's in. Oh, and Nadia, Nadia, Nadia has gone. The fourth floor, Nadia has turned all the way around. She's looking at the back of the elevator. That is not normal human behavior. Nadia is looking at the back of the elevator purely because everybody else is. OK, you've seen it in real time. Let's play that for you again in Fast Forward. Nadia, turning, 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 turn. Did you notice anything while we were standing in the elevator? We were all facing one way, and we wanted to see if one oh, person would do it. And you, you did it, yeah. So you were wondering why. Yeah. But you just went along with it without even questioning. Yeah. Social scientists refer to this as the ash paradigm, when a person's own opinions and actions are influenced by the majority of the group. The lady with the gray coat, she is a civilian. Everybody else in the elevator is on our team. That is Elizabeth. She's facing the front, as she should, but she's looking around. She's noticed that everybody else is facing the back. She's looking around, wondering what's going on. This is a bit odd. Everybody else is acting like nothing strange is happening. Elizabeth is looking around like something very strange is happening. We're on the second floor. She's slightly turned. She's turned. Look at her shoulders. She's not facing the front anymore. She's moved. Emily gets on. Again, she's with us. Presses her button. Elizabeth looks at her. Emily faces the back. Elizabeth is turning. Elizabeth is turning. She's pretending she's just looking around, but that's a cover. She's actually turning as well. All right, going again. Okay, that lady there with the grey pointing up, that's Karen. She's an innocent passerby, gets on. Everybody else is in on the experiment. She presses a button, immediately complies. She faces the back, because everybody else is. <laughs> you walked in and you started facing the same direction we all were, right? I actually thought that you all knew something that I didn't. That's the crux. She bowed to the pressure of the group. Conform, but, you know, it doesn't work. Every time. This is so weird that everyone's facing this way and I'm facing that way. We're on floor three for anyone who can't see. Is he being helpful or sarcastic? We're about to kick it up a notch. 
What if Scott played some music on his phone? And gradually, all of our staff in the elevator started to dance. The people get down while they're going up. Okay, man in the hat, he's looking at his phone. He's got earbuds in. And here's another angle on our stranger. Who's gonna cave? Oh, his head's nodding, his head's nodding. He's getting down. That did not take long. He has joined in the elevator dance party. Yep, there he goes. The shoulders are going now. He's getting into it. Head bobbing, nice. He has joined in dancing because everybody else is. No rhyme, no reason, just moves. One by one, it seemed like everybody started to catch on, and I figured, I like, I like a good dance party. I'm not going to be the one standing on the wall and yeah. not dancing. Would you fall for that? Oh. Would you fall for that? That right there, social conformity. Thank you very much. So, would you have fallen for that, or do you think you're too clever? We're on Twitter right now with the hashtag WYFFT. W-Y-F-F-T, what does that stand for? Would you fall for that, our show? We have a show? Whiffed. <laughs>